Larry Anglosano reporting at the NBAA show in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, 2024, back in the desert again, with uh, Van Winter at uh, True Blue Power. You know, everybody knows in the turbine market, ship power is important, and uh, True Blue Power has been uh, sort of leading the charge with uh, good lithium ion batteries. They're here at the show showing the next generation TB50 lithium ion, and uh, Van Winter is going to give us a little uh, demo of this new battery. Of course. So this is our TB50, 50 amp hours of power. And the reason that we designed this battery was really because we wanted a same size replacement. So some of our batteries, you know, we try and get as much power into as small of a package as possible. This one was one where we really wanted to make sure that it was an easy, we don't call it drop in because lithium is always different, right? But this was an easy replacement for some of those same size batteries, the 44 amp hour, the 46 amp hour batteries. You're getting more power, you're getting the same size. It's about a 10 by 10 by 10 inch pack. And then what we also have is we have some cool things. This vent port can go on the side or on the top, depending on where you, you, you do have to vent it outside of the aircraft, yeah, sure. but depending on where you want it to go, and where you're trying to fit it, you can put the port on the front or on the top of the battery. We like lithium because it's half the weight. I mean, sometimes up What's to 60% less. This is about 43 pounds for a 50 amp hour, amp, amp hour battery. And you're gonna be double that, if not more, depending on if you're going NICAD or lead acid. So yeah. that's why we are the lithium kind of disciples. You know, I mean, we, we really, we like the lithium power. It's gonna give you faster, cooler, cleaner starts. So that's another big, that's another big uh, benefit of the battery. But the reason that the, that the TB50 exists is because of that same size replacement. People, th th they said, look, we don't want an extra tray. We don't want to have to do extra mods and an extra kit. We just want to be able to put it where the other battery is and then do the lithium requirements on top so of that. So we've got enunciators here, uh, right. fault enunciators yep. and uh, basically status uh, monitoring on the battery itself. Which is, uh, is there any requirement for a cockpit display? Yeah, so you do have to enunciate into the cockpit. Uh, that can be, we have a really nice digital gauge that we can enunciate into the cockpit with, or you can just do as, as simple as an LED light. So it just tells you when the battery is heating, tells you if there's a fault, if there's uh, a low charge. Um, but we really like this button. We call it the BIT, the built-in test indicator. And it's really nice, especially for the guys that, are, that have them that are doing maintenance on the battery that just want to check it on the aircraft as yeah. well. Uh, what's the connector? Yeah, so we can do all kinds of air ink, uh, RS-232, uh, um, and then obviously the power connector. And then what's hiding under here is a USB charging port, or okay. not charging port, but a USB data port. So you can put parameters into the battery to tell it, hey, I want you to alert me when it's at this state of charge. I want you to tell me um, that it can do this high of a charging capacity and okay. things like that. Yeah, what kind of maintenance? on condition maintenance. Okay. So that's one of the best things about the battery is there is no maintenance required. It's on condition. So because you have to enunciate into the cockpit, whether you're using a light or a gauge, then you don't have to do any kind of capacity checks or anything like that. It just, the idea with this battery is it's gonna last you eight to 10 years and it's gonna just stay on the aircraft. It's kind of a set it and forget it thing. There's no cap checks, no replacements, hopefully. Um, so that's really kind of the, the, that's the long-term vision for, you spend a little bit more for lithium, but you, you get a lot of benefits out of it. And what's the applications? Uh, what says uh, is it uh, on an STC or an AML or yeah, how do you so, get it approved? So that, that's a great question. So we do have to do STCs by aircraft model. Um, so we're kind of, we have some partners that are working on some STCs for this. We're working on some STCs for this. What we're most excited about is Textron just announced that this is gonna be on the CJ4 Gen 3. So that's a really big win for us. We're working with other OEMs on getting that, uh, getting the lithium onto their new platforms as well. That was a big one. Um, and we're working on SDCs. You see we have a King Air on our, on our little placard right there. And there's just a lot of applications. This, this size and this power is really, really popular. So we think that there's a lot of applications for the TB50 battery. What's typical price point? So this one, the list price is 24,151. Um, you know, we're selling that to our dealer network and we have distributors that can, that can sell that as well. Uh, but it, it is a higher price out of the gate and we don't shy away from that. We, we own that. 
the value proposition of the battery over its lifetime, I mean, when you're talking eight years, when you're talking no maintenance, it's doing so much better for your engines on every aircraft start, you really kind of get that value proposition back. Yeah. Anything else we want to know about this? No, I mean, this is, so this is our Gen 5 line. This is our newest one. And again, you know, we kind of keep saying the same size replacement, but yeah. uh, we're, we're really proud of that. We were, we were proud that we were able to get that much power in that kind of a box with the lithium technology. And, um, you know, it's just, it, it's a better battery. If you want the rest of your aircraft to be up with all the latest tech, this is a really good starting point for that. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot to Van Winter for a uh, good demo, the TB50. And uh, thanks for watching here at the uh, NBAA 2024 convention in Las Vegas.